Hey y'all, hey. Good evening. How's everybody tonight? Yes, y'all, your girl is out in the middle of the night. Like a, a night crawler. So y'all, I am hungry and I've been wanting some seafood for the past two weeks. So I decided to come to this place. A friend of mine told me about it. It's called, um, let y'all see that. It's called the Yummy Crab. So, um, um, decided to come to this place and get me something to eat. Um, I think it just recently opened. They have another place here um, downtown called The Boiling. They're very expensive. So my friend said this place is just as good, but it's, you know, much cheaper. So we're going to go in here and get us something to eat, y'all. Oh, y'all, I have had a tiring day. I've been kind of sleep all day, y'all. I ain't been feeling too well. Out of my brain. So, um, so I've been sleep all day. So, I'm going to get a menu. It's pretty. Oh, gosh, I got that toilet. Hey, do you guys have a menu for today? Okay. You can check this out real quick, okay? Can I sit right here? Okay. All right, y'all. We're going to check out the prices. I ain't never been here before. Um, okay, so they sell it by the pound. Maybe y'all can see that. They sell it by the pound. So what I think I want, y'all... I am a shrimp girl. I love shrimp. And I love crab. Um, I'm sorry, I like crab and I also like crawfish. So I think what I'm going to do is. Hmm. Okay, and it said the seafood comes with corn and potatoes. Ooh, baby. And then it has. Um, Five different, um, five different um, flavors. It has Cajun garlic butter seasoning, yummy special, and garlic butter, and garlic butter only, and lemon pepper. And if you want extra seasoning, they charge you a dollar. So y'all, what I think I want is, is the yummy special, because that's the garlic butter and the Cajun mixed together. So I think I would enjoy that. And baby, this is all for me. And I'm going to do mild because they have the spicy level. Y'all can see that? They got the spicy level. And I think I'm going to do mild because I'm not a, I don't do hot anything. Um, so, yeah. So, I think what I'm going to do is get... So, let me ask this young lady. Hey, baby, can I ask you a question? I'm sorry. Can I ask you a question? So, <clears throat> with this... Is it just one or the other, or can you mix them? You can mix them. So if you mix them, is it like if you want a half pound of shrimp and a half pound of um, crawfish, it's that price and that price combined, yeah, right? Okay, okay. Okay, y'all, yeah, so I think I'm going to get... I think I'm going to get the shrimp. A pound of shrimp. Or you know what? Y'all, how you never had mussels? I don't know how they taste. I ain't never had them. Like, I don't think I'm going to go for that today because I ain't trying to experiment today. I'm going to stick with what I know. Yeah, but I'm going to stick with what I know. So I think I'm going to get um, crawfish and shrimp. And they got it, you can either get it with your head on or the head off. So I think I'm gonna get it with the head off because like I ain't trying to watch nothing look at me while I eat it. Like, mm -mm, I don't know. okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, yeah. So I ordered my food. I end up getting um, a pound of crawfish and a half a pound of the no head shrimp. And then, um, so I just I just put my order in. I gotta pay the young lady, and I'm waiting on my food. So um, how much is it, baby? Uh, Twenty-seven. 
How much? Twenty seventy. Oh. oh. Thirty right there. Okay. That I'll be right back. Can I see the receipt? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. It'll be at least ten to fifteen minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so she said it'd be about 10 15 minutes. So, y'all, I'm about to go home. And I probably could do like a little, I don't know, maybe a little mukbang or whatever. And, uh, so, I'll see y'all when I get to the house. Okay? So, I'm back. I um, got my food, y'all, and I am so ready to eat it. Got my soda. Still got the little thing on there, but I'm going to take that off. Got my soda. Got a doc Diet Dr. Pepper. It really tastes the same as regular Dr. Pepper. It's really no difference. Got my napkins because I feel like I'm going to need it, baby. So, look. Look at this, y'all. Look how this comes. Y'all see that? Like, oh, my God. And then it has two lemons at the bottom. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour it out. Well, at least I thought I was. Oh, I'm, I'm going to make a mess. I know I am. You know what? I ain't going to do that. I'm going to just leave it just like this. Because that's going to be too much. But I want y'all to see how this looks, y'all. This looks so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I'm going to pick y'all Y'all see that? The corn, the potato, shrimp, crawfish, and the juices is all in the bottom. So I'm going to take some of this lemon, put it on there. Bye -bye. All right. So I got to say my blessings. I always say my blessing silent to myself. All right, pour me a little lemon on there. Take a little bite of this potato. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now, they could have put a little more sauce in here. Next time, I'm going to ask them for extra sauce. Some more sauce on there. Mm -mm. Do the happy dance, y'all. Mm -mm. So, what y'all want to talk about? Oh, I know what I want to talk about. So, YouTube tripping. Let me phrase that. They not tripping. About um, if you don't have a thousand subs, you can't go live on your mobile device. I ain't going to say they tripping, y'all. It's just business. Right? It's just business. But here's the thing. The people that's crying about it, they don't really go live anyway. So, mm -hmm. but here's the thing. I mean, you can still go live on your mobile device. I mean, your laptop, your desktop. I don't think you can go live like on your iPad or whatever. But. I mean, at this point, y'all, the basically the only thing you can do is get your subscriber count up. You know, I think it has a lot to do with, if y'all think about it, it's like the internet traffic. You know, you got all these people going live and you got three or four people watching the live when you got a person, I mean, you know, some people might... Not feel not feel that way, but again, this is my opinion. I don't know because I don't work for YouTube, so I don't, you know, I'm not behind the desk when making decisions. But I think they like, you know, when people try to go online 
We have a lot of complications and stuff. We got to think about the internet traffic. So to cut down on some of that internet traffic, they probably said, if we only got, you know, <clears throat> oh, y'all, that's spicy. Mm. If you only got, you know, 25, 50 subscribers, you probably don't need to go live on YouTube, but you can go live on Instagram or Facebook, something like that. It's just goals. Basically, if you want a channel, if you all here with a channel for the reasons of being a content creator, then you need to produce content. Going live all the time, y'all, is not producing content. It's just going live. But for all the people that are serious about their channel who don't have a thousand subscribers and don't like the fact that they couldn't go live, but who are truly content creators, that's just the motivation for you to push promote your channel and push harder to get to the thousand subscribers. That's all. Y'all, it could have been worse. They could have said 2,500, 5,000. You know? So... It could have been worse. I don't know, y'all. I know it's pretty good. Um, and for all the people who's like, where the kids food at? First of all, y'all, it's damn near 11 o'clock at night. And if they was here, they would be asleep and they would have already ate. This is my little treat, but they're not here anyway. So, all oh, this for me. But if they was here for the ones that do like seafood, I would have let them taste some. Mm. I wouldn't have did that. I don't do stuff like that. I don't eat in front of kids. Mmm. Bye bye. That is so good. Mm mm mm. <coughs> um, so y'all, we going live tomorrow on my channel. Me and Francois vlog. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, y'all. It's allergy season. We're going live tomorrow. Probably like around eight o'clock. Eastern Standard Time. So, y'all make sure y'all come out and support. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. There's a lot of stuff happening this week, y'all. Um, I know everybody by now has heard about Nipsey Hussle passing. <clears throat> y'all, that is such a tragic situation. I didn't really follow Nipsey Hussle like that, but, you know. I mean, it's. His passing affected a lot of people. But I like the crawfish because I like to suck the juice out of it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Thai food too damn good. You know what I really would want in this, y'all? Some sausage. Ooh. Has anybody ever ate boudin? Baby. <clears throat> if you've ever been to Louisiana before, did you, or if you haven't been, when you do go, if you do go, y'all get y'all some boudin. It's like a, Sausage stuffed with um, bread in, and like it's like a cornbread type, and it's and then the meat of the sausage, like they take the meat out and they mix it in with the bread in, and it's like some vegetable. Like I can't even explain it. You just gotta eat it. It look, it don't look right at first when you first look at it. You be like, what's that? But baby, you eat, baby. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. I love me some boudin. I really enjoy this. This is really good. Now, this sauce is a little too spicy for me. I think the next time I won't tell them, give me the Cajun. Like the Cajun and... Even though I said mild, it still got a kick to it. Now I just I don't like food like that. Mm mm mm. This is really good. Mm mm. Yeah, you guys. So tomorrow, Saturday. I had to go over my mom's today. I went over there earlier this evening. She wasn't feeling well. So I went over there and sat with her for a while. She had a headache. And she didn't have any more Tylenol. So I went and took some Tylenol over there to her. And she keeps keep complaining about her knees are bothering her. So more than like it's arthritis. Because arthritis runs in my family. Because I have arthritis. My mom has it. My granny has it. My great grandma has it. So I text my brother and tell him we need to get her an appointment in. So they could possibly do like an x ray or MRI of her knees. So he said he'll make an appointment Monday. Ooh, this stuff is spicy, y'all. Ooh. Mm mm. What else went on this week, y'all? <clears throat> oh. So what I saw on the news today, y'all, that some. I guess it was a little boy missing out of Illinois. He had been missing for like eight years. Some man turned up in Kentucky to say he was the missing young boy. They said the FBI and stuff was suspicious. I guess the little boy went missing. He was like eight years old or something. Well, anyway... They end up doing a DNA test on the man. And not only was he not a teenager, he was a grown man. And he wasn't the little boy that's missing. So I'm thinking to myself. <coughs> first and foremost. Like, how dumb can you be? Did you honestly think them people wasn't going to do no DNA? You think you could just pop up somewhere and be like, uh, Hey, y'all, I'm the missing boy from eight years ago. Here I go. Here I am. Like, you thought people just gonna open up their door and let you on in? Like, he must don't watch no crime shows. Because, um, Boudet ain't how that work. Well, I'm pretty sure he see now. That ain't how that work. So, y'all, why I'm full? Mm-mm. 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 Yeah, so this man gonna show up and say he was the missing little boy. And come to find out, he wasn't even the same, the age of the missing, what the missing little boy would be now. He's a grown man, and then you ain't even the person. Like, you, you're not that little, they did DNA, and they said that, I think they did, like, dental and DNA or something. It's like, yeah, it's some, well, we already know this, y'all. There's some sick, twisted people out here. 
why would you do that family like that? Like, what was, what, what was the, what was your point? Like, what you thought you was going to gain out of that? And when the, when the blue boy went missing, he was like, I think he was like, six, eight years old. So at that age, you still remember, you know, things. So when they would start testing him about stuff from back then, like he couldn't answer none of the questions. What he thought was gonna happen? What was he gonna do? Play like he got an amnesia or something? Amnesia or something? Mm. Mm mm mm. Ooh, ooh, I ain't gonna. Mm -mm. We can't do that Cajun sauce no more. Mm mm. I mean, I'll eat it because I'm going to pay for it. I paid for it. And y'all paid $21 for all this. Woo! Mm-mm. Woo! Y'all, I'm full. Look at that. They ain't hardly put no shrimp in here. All this damn crawfish. <clears throat> oh, I did tell them half a pound, didn't I? Okay, well, next time I ain't gonna do that. Mmm. Excuse me. A couple years ago, you guys, I went to Biloxi, Mississippi, and stayed um, in the resort down there. And we stayed in this one hotel, and they had a <clears throat> buffet. And then the, the resort we stayed in was like right on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. We went to the buffet, and they had a lot of seafood on the buffet. They had shrimp, crawfish. Crab, lobster, fish. I had everything. But when I tell y'all, <clears throat> that seafood tasted like they just reached out the window and stuck their hand over in the Gulf of Mexico and pulled up whatever they could pull up and just slapped it on the grill or slapped it in the pot. Like that food tasted so fresh. And that's the only thing about eating seafood. Right here in Indiana, all the seafood is, you know, shipped over here, right? I mean, of course, it's shipped in coolers, freezers, and stuff, but I think it loses some of its luster. Like, cities that sits on the water or near the water, their seafood is much better. Because it ain't got to be shipped across the country. Like in Seattle. <clears throat> I bet it's some good seafood there. Whew. All right, y'all. I'm going to close out the vlog here. And, um, I got some mail yesterday, or today, and I'm going to tell y'all about tomorrow, something in the mail. So y'all make sure y'all keep y'all notification on so y'all can see that video. I'm super excited about this mail that I got. I got a delivery, a box. And then we're going live tomorrow. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that, okay? Until the next time, y'all be easy, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.